Hey guys, my name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel and today I have a very exciting video planned because it's going to be recommending you books based on your preferences with wine, which you know I've said time and time again that I don't think anything pairs better with books than wine. Like there's nothing more relaxing than at the end of the day just like snuggling up with a book and a glass of wine and like that is just the kind of vibes I need in the year of 2022, okay? And so today I'm partnering with Bright Set to bring you this video of some wine and book recommendations. So thank you so much to Bright Sellers for sponsoring today's video. If you're unfamiliar with Bright Sellers, they are a wine company who matches you to different wines from all over the world. You just take their quick and simple seven question online quiz so that they can gather your taste preferences and deliver you wines that you're guaranteed to like. They just get delivered straight to your door, which is so convenient, you know, because you don't gotta go wandering around the store for such a long time trying to figure out what wines you might enjoy. Bright Sellers is giving my subscribers 50% off their first six bottle box. So that's six bottles for just $55, which is crazy value. So you can go ahead and follow the link down below to take the quiz and get started. In the meantime, let's get started with some wine recommendations. So the very first wine is going to be this wine that's a Merlot, it's called Jumble Sale. Something that I think is uh, very exciting is that they send these education cards for each bottle of wine, which is very useful, especially for somebody like me who is still getting into wine and learning all of the facts about wine. This one is a medium bodied red. Um, it has 15% alcohol. It has cherry, raspberry, oak, and vanilla. This one comes straight from Washington, which is cool because that's where I'm currently at. And it said that it pairs well with hard Italian style cheeses, pizza, and Thursday night dinners. I love that these education cards that come with every bottle really like show you what it pairs well with because I feel like I really struggle with that when it comes to, you know, what wine goes with what kind of food. I have no knowledge, but Bright Cellars comes in the clutch with that. And so, you know, when I see a red bottle of wine like this one that we have here, I often think of yearning. You know, I think of a heartbreak. I think of something that's going to emotionally devastate you, but like in the best way. Because I feel like when you're reading a book that's gonna break your heart, red wine is definitely more of the mood for that kind of book, you know? So I feel like if you enjoy a red wine, quite like this one, I think you might also enjoy a book that's a little heavy on the emotional side. Like some recommendations I would have for this particular wine drinker would be It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. This is one of the books that made me cry the most in this world, but it's also one of my favorite romances that I've ever read. And I will warn you, there is a trigger warning for physical and emotional abuse in this book. But yeah, this book is just absolutely stunning. And I feel like this is the kind of book that you want to read with a glass of red wine wine right beside you. I would also say that about The Light We Lost by Jill Santapalo. This is another, you know, it's a romance book, but it's also just very emotional. And this is the kind of romance novel that spans, you know, almost a decade, I think. It spans like 10 years of time and it's very much, there's a lot of yearning happening in this one, you know, because it's a lot of like, will they get together? Or won't they? Like, they're just always kind of in and out of each other's lives and it's never the right time. But this is definitely the kind of book that will make you ball your eyes out at the end of this one. And then we have The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. This is another book where there's just so much yearning and so much heartbreak. Like this story is just so heartbreaking just in general, you know, because we're following this woman who gets cursed and she's gonna be forgotten by every single person that she meets. But then this story really takes off when she meets this man named Henry who remembers her. But her existence in this book and in this world in this book is very lonely, you know, because she She's literally forgotten by everyone that she meets and she just doesn't have any connections. And I just feel like this is such a red wine book. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but the red wine vibes are strong with this one. I would also say The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna is another book that is just so heartbreaking and so beautiful at the same time. This one's actually a historical fiction and this one takes place during the Great Depression and during the Dust Bowl. And this book is one of those books that will make you feel so grateful for everything that you have in your life. Also makes me think of the red wine. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about red wine. It just makes me think about books that give you feelings and emotions. The next bottle that I wanted to talk about is the Dreamlet, okay? This is like the sweet 
white wine. This one is straight out of California, which is where I'm from. This one has peach, it has lime zest, it has ginger. And this one, honestly, it might be my favorite bottle of wine that I've received from Bright Cellars so far. I've actually had this one in a shipment before and I love this little education card it is the cutest shit. Okay, like I put this shit up on my bulletin board. Um, as you can see behind me, I'll do a close-up of it because these wine education cards, like some of them are genuinely so cute that after I finish the wine, I'm like, I'm not just going to throw this out. So I put it up on my little dream board, you know, but on the back of this education card, this one says that it pairs well with housewarming parties. And I just love that so much. And I don't know if it's because of the like dream element of this, but there's something about this bottle of wine and this wine in particular that I just find to be so inspiring. This bottle of wine just makes me feel like I can like take on the world and like get shit done and so some inspiring book recs that I think would be good to go with that wine would be you know The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. This is one of the most like inspiring kind of books that I've ever read because you know we're following this woman who wakes up in the midnight library where like every book within this library is a decision that she has made or has not made in her life. And so we kind of get to see what her life would have looked like had she made different decisions throughout her life. Like it's just really, really fascinating. And this book just really touched me. It's really beautiful. It's really inspiring. Most recently, one of my most inspiring nonfiction books that I've read is the book Wild because this one's a nonfiction about this woman who, you know, she's kind of going through it. She's recently lost her mother and she decides to go and hike the Pacific Crest Trail from California all the way up to Washington by herself. A bad ass bitch, okay? Like this book was so cool. It was so beautiful. It was so heartwarming. And knowing that this was like a true story just made it extra special for me. And like, it's one of the most inspiring books that I've ever read. Like this book makes me want to get out in the world and go and take a hike quite literally. And then another one of my most inspiring books that I've ever read is We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. This is still one of my favorite books of all time. And this one, I know it seems kind of strange because when you actually read this book, it is pretty depressing at times, okay? It's very depressing. But this book is a, it's a young adult book about this boy named Henry who, you know, every now and then these aliens abduct him and they tell him that the world is coming to an end and that in order for him to prevent the end of the world, he just has to push this red button. But he doesn't know if he wants to save the world because lately his life has just been really hard and really depressing because of a number of different things. And yeah, this book is depressing. It's sad. It's heartbreaking. But it's also one of the most inspiring, beautiful ass books that I've ever read. Like this book almost nearly changed my pessimistic point of view on things in the world. Like it is powerful. Okay. Like I loved this book. Not only are the wine education cards helpful that they send with every bottle of wine, but they also do send this cute little, you know, Bright Sellers booklet as well, where they give you all kinds of tips, like how to use a corkscrew, which if you're, you know, new to wine, that could be very useful. <laughs> they also have, you know, serving temperature breakdown right here so that you know what kind of wine needs to be served at which temperatures, because if you didn't know, reds and whites have different serving temperatures, which is something that I'm learning as I'm getting into wine. They also give you advice on how to store your wine. Another thing that you might not know, like I didn't, is that how wine is stored affects how it tastes. Who knew? Next kind of wine is going to be this bottle here. This is the Hers and Heim. This one is another light bodied white. We have lime flavors, lemon flavors, nectarine, white pepper. This one says it pairs well with things like soft fresh cheeses or sushi platters. And I don't know, I'm getting major cozy vibes from this wine. Like everything about this screams coziness to me. This one actually comes from Austria as well, which is really cool. Even on the little like bottle here, it does say heart and home, which is just, you know, a wonderful combination of things. And so I feel like with this one, it only feels right to recommend books that I find to be the most cozy. Who doesn't love, you know, snuggling up with a bottle of wine and a cozy book? That just sounds like the best combination. I think one of the coziest books that I've ever read is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. I mean, just reading about these March sisters and their lives. It's one of my favorite books and it's genuinely one of the coziest books that I've ever read. I actually recommend 
recommend, you know, reading this one during the winter time because I do think there's a good part of this book that takes place around Christmas time and it just feels like the most cozy kind of Christmas read. You could read it at any time of year though. Like I'm pretty sure I read this one in February or March when I read it a few years ago. One of my favorite um, recent romance books that I read that I found to be super cozy is The Wedding Ringer because this one has like the cutest premise where this woman is getting married but she doesn't really have any friends to be a bridesmaid so she randomly meets this woman in like a cafe and just goes up to her and asks if she can be like her fake friend to have a bridesmaid and I think that this one is super cozy because it not only has like a cute romance element happening you know because this girl that becomes her bridesmaid she ends up getting close with one of the other groomsmen and then it's kind of like a romance that happens between them but it also has one of the most cute genuine wholesome friendships that I've ever read in a book and I would actually recommend this book for the friendship even more than for the romance you know because the friendship is just that soft and that cute and so I feel like if you're needing a good you know cozy book to snuggle up with I would definitely recommend this one and then of course you know I have to recommend Red White and Royal Blue because while this book is a little bit more spicy than the other two books that I just mentioned. I do feel like this is the kind of book that you just want to snuggle up on the couch with and get all cozy and drink some wine with and maybe cry your eyes out. Like, I don't know. It might happen. But this book is just so special to me, you know, because in this book we're following our main protagonist. His name is Alex and he's the first son of the first female president of the United States, which like, <laughs> freaking cool. And then he starts to fall for a prince named Henry. And I think something that I love about this book is the forbidden nature of their relationship, you know, because they are both so like in the eye of the public at all times. But there's also just something so cozy and lovely about this book. All right, the next bottle of wine on this list is going to be Avast Wines. This one comes from South Africa. This is another light bodied white. And this one, oh my gosh, isn't this, first of all, isn't this just the most beautiful label that you've ever seen. Like, I'm obsessed with that. This one's going on the dream board. You already know. This one has some lemon zest. It has some lime, some orange, some green pear. And this one says it pairs well with shrimp ceviche with lime and chili, grilled chicken sandwiches, and bachelorette party weekends. So you already know the kind of book recommendations that are incoming right now, right? This wine is the kind of wine that you want to drink when you're reading about a freaking bachelorette party or some kind of party or you want to read a book that's a little spicy like a little intense I've got so many recommendations for this kind of wine <laughs> well one that I feel like I just have to recommend for this because it couldn't be more perfect is the book in a dark dark wood by Ruth Ware this one is a thriller that literally takes place during a bachelorette weekend you know it's a bachelorette party weekend and even though this thriller wasn't my personal favorite I mean I think I gave it like three stars but I would still recommend this because it just fits the vibe for this so well another book that I would recommend for this kind of wine is The Hunting Wives by Mae Cobb, which by the way, I feel like this book is an essential to read for any wine lover just because, you know, this book follows this group of moms who all live in Texas. They all go hunting together and like shoot their guns and then something like happens while they're doing that. And it's kind of a thriller because our main character is like low-key a stalker of one of the other moms in the group. Like she just kind of gets obsessed with this other woman in the group and it's just so entertaining. And these moms are just like the typical, you know, like group of wine moms, you know, it's just like the perfect vibe with this. <laughs> also, when I look at this bottle, another book that comes to mind is Every Value Break by Peter Swanson, which this is another one that I didn't love this book, but we're following this couple who goes on their honeymoon on this island. And then this island is just very strange. Like there's a lot of weird stuff happening on this island. There's only men on this island with her. Like she's one of the very few only women there and there's just like a bunch of weird stuff happening. And while this book wasn't my favorite, it definitely matches the vibe of this like, you know, party water island vibes that I'm getting from this. I would also recommend if you're looking for something kind of spicy and something really interesting that has rich people murder vibes, I would definitely recommend checking out Good Rich People because this is a book that I just read very recently that I just thought was so much fun. And this book would have been elevated even more if I had just been sitting there drinking some wine while I was reading it. I feel like this is exactly the kind of book where you want to be drinking like a fun glass of wine while while reading this. I mean this one's just basically about these rich people who have this mansion and then they have this guest house on their property that they rent out to different tenants but then the rich people kind of play this game amongst themselves where they try to ruin the life of whoever just moved into the guest house. It's very twisted, it's very strange but this book was so 
entertaining oh my gosh like all the characters are so unlikable but like in the most funny entertaining way and then I also wanted to mention there's this book that's coming out in June that I have not yet read but I wanted to mention it anyways because it's called One of the Girls by Lucy Clark and this is another thriller that's coming out where it follows a bachelorette party weekend situation so I just feel like it pairs really well with you know like this wine vibe and the other books that I just recommended like it just fits within this you know the next bottle of wine on this list is going to be color fast which this is another light bodied white this one has one of the most colorful like it's not kidding when it says color fast like this is beautiful this is very colorful and this one we've got some lemon flavors tangerine lime pineapple a lot of very you know bright fun flavors happening in this it says this wine shows a beautiful balance of body acidity and sweetness it says that it pairs well with roasted chicken and citrus salad and repotting your plants this is another one that comes from california and and from this bottle of wine i'm getting fun but classy vibes you know we're talking something that's still fun to read it's still engaging but it's it's just kind of like classy and mature because these flavors are really fun you know in this wine so I'm getting some fun vibes but you still want it to be classy so it's still gonna be with like you know a roasted chicken and citrus salad dinner you know so it's still on the classy side and so some books that I think are really fun to read but they're still very like wholesome and classy would include um, Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng this is one of my favorite books of all time this one is very much a story about mother and daughter relationships and how complicated they can be. I love how the inside flap of this book talks about this book because it says Little Fires Everywhere explores the weight of secrets, the nature of art and identity, and the ferocious pull of motherhood, and the danger of believing that following the rules can avert disaster. And I freaking love that because it really is about the ferocious pull of motherhood. One of the main storylines happening in this book is the adoption of this baby, and it's just heartbreaking and so fascinating. Like, a really good conversation is happening in this book about motherhood and about what makes someone a mother and it's just a really thought-provoking book but this is one of those books that it's very classy and mature and will stay on your mind and it's like critically acclaimed like very many people love this book but it's also a fun time to read at least in my opinion it's not like one of those dull books that is like award-winning and just kind of like slow moving for me this was still like a very entertaining read and then just to continue with this like mother-daughter kind of feel with these books I would also recommend The Dream Daughter by Diane Chamberlain this one is another one of my favorite books of all time because this is a freaking heartbreaking but beautiful ass story about this woman who she lives in the 1970s and she is pregnant with her baby and she finds out that the baby's going to be born with a heart defect that is not it's not going to survive once the baby's born but then she finds out that someone in her life can help her time travel to the year 2001 in order to have her baby and by the year 2001 they would have the technology that they could save her daughter and so it's about her essentially time traveling from the 70s to 2001 to save her daughter and about like all that happens in this world where she's time traveling it's stressful but it's so good oh my god it's so good it's one of those books that will just like Mm, hit you right in the feels. And then the last one I wanted to recommend is Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. This is for anybody that reads like a little sci-fi that wants a little more fun in their life. I feel like this has got to be one of the most fun sci-fi books that I've ever read. If you didn't know, this was actually my number one favorite book of 2021. Like I absolutely loved this. And if you're looking for a book that's wholesome and fun, look no further because this is it. This is exactly it. If you look in the dictionary next to wholesome, you'll see this book. This book is something that you wouldn't expect to be as wholesome as it is, you know, because in this book all we know going in is that it's about a lone astronaut. He wakes up in space and he's by himself. Everyone that's on his crew is dead. He's literally like alone in space. Like worst fucking fears come true. Like this is, <laughs> this is a nightmare of a situation at the beginning of this book, you know, but this book, oh my god, there's just things that happen in this book that just mean everything to me. I love it so much. I think it's so cute. I don't want to spoil like 
like literally anything about it for you so you're just gonna have to trust but this is the kind of book that you would want to read with a fun good bottle of wine and just like enjoy your life you know like this book will just make your life better and then the last wine recommendation that I have on this list is this red blend stone lantern this one is another medium bodied red it has flavors like blackberry blueberry vanilla and nutmeg this is another one that comes from the state of Washington so what's up and it says it pairs well with beef stew and mashed potatoes and tailgating before a game and the idea of like tailgating before a game just reminds me of like college it makes me think of like college football games and schools and academia and I feel like this might be the bottle to go with for some dark academia vibes in books correct that's what I'm feeling with this I mean even look just look at this card, by the way. Like, does this not give you dark academia vibes? And I don't know about you, but I feel like red wine is the only acceptable beverage in my brain for, you know, drinking while reading some dark academia vibes books. Like, it just makes sense. One of the first books that comes to mind is They Never Learn. This is one of my favorite kind of like school academia vibes kind of thrillers. And in this book, we're following this woman who is a serial killer and she's getting revenge revenge on men who have wronged her and on men who are gross and disgusting and this book is the most like good for her energy and I feel like that's how I feel whenever I see you know women drinking red wine I'm like wow good for her it's just one of my personal favorite books that has like an academic setting that's also a thriller it's just so great also recommend the maidens uh i know that not everyone's a huge fan of this book but i personally love this book so much i just thought it was so much fun and it was so twisty and this one's basically just about this professor who's on this college campus who is getting accused of murdering one of his students Ooh, but yeah it's just very interesting um i just really am fascinated by you know the relationship that this professor has with his students it's just a very unique interesting book I don't know I loved it so much I just thought it was so much fun I also feel like Verity by Colleen Hoover would be like a red wine kind of recommendation book you know because this is just one of those books that's just so dark and so twisted but just so fascinating you know it's so fast-paced like this is the kind of book you can read probably all within one sitting because you're just gonna be like so obsessed and I just feel like it pairs perfectly with red wine if you're a red wine drinker Something about this book, it just pairs well with red wine. I don't know how to explain it, but it, it does. It just does. So yeah, those are all of the different wine and book recommendations. I feel like I covered most of the bases with like the different types of wines there are and the different types of wine drinkers there are. You'll have to let me know. Do you prefer white wine, red wine? Do you drink both? I'm personally much more of a white wine drinker. I rarely ever enjoy red wines if I'm being completely honest like there's just something about them they're too bitter for me and I am the kind of person I need my alcohol to taste like juice or to taste like not alcohol in order to enjoy it and so that's why I tend to enjoy a lot of the you know light bodied white wines I like the Moscatos but I would love to know what are your wine preferences down below and let me know if you enjoy a video like this I would like to do more things like this in the future you know where I recommend <laughs> books based off of a specific thing like wine once again I just want to emphasize that sponsors like Bright Sellers make it possible for me to continue to create the content that I do create on my channel. So by supporting Bright Sellers, you can be directly supporting my channel. And this is just another reminder that Bright Sellers is giving my subscribers 50% off their first six bottle box. So that's six bottles for just $55, which is crazy good value. And you can use the link in my description to go and take the quiz and get started. I highly recommend Bright Sellers. I do think they have such a wide variety of wine selections and it's just so much fun like getting a package of wine delivered to your door is almost up there with like getting book mail delivered to your door it's just one of the most satisfying fun things so yeah thank you so much for watching um you'll have to let me know if you have any other book recommendations that you think would fit perfectly with these wine recommendations thank you so much once again to bright sellers for sponsoring today's video this was so much fun definitely let me know what you're thinking in the comments down below and let me know which wine you think would be your favorite out of these six. Thank you so much for watching as always and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye!